Hello. Hello. Hello, Mr. Noches. How are you? Fine. Hello, good, teacher. Teacher. good evening. Good. How was your day? Very boring. Boring? Why boring? Because the time is run too slow. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, are you in your house or are you in the office? No, right now I'm at the home. At the home. What time do you finish working? At 5.30. 5.30? And, and what time do you start? 8.30. 8.30. Yeah. And, and where is your office? Uh, here in Merliot, in La Gran Vía. And what's the name of the company? Banco Pro America. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> okay. I'm a customer. <laughs> okay. Cost. Good, good. How many years have you been there, Martin? Only two years uh, in Banco Pro America, but I worked before in Banco Cuscatlán for 14 years. 14? Wow. That's a long time. That's a long, long time. Okay, good, good. That's good. So you have experience working in, in, in banks, and I imagine that different positions yeah yeah i i work in different positions right now i work in an international department uh-huh so trans phone transfers incoming and not going uh-huh so to uh, uh export and imports or goods for the customers okay letter of credit all right. That's what I do right now. Oh, and how many people are there in your department? Eight people. Eight. Eight people. All right. Do you work Saturdays? No, only the Monday to Monday to, to Friday. Friday. To Friday. Good. Good. That's good. Monday Cindy, do you work Saturdays? Yes, teacher. I do. What time do and you I get hate off? that. What time uh, do you finish? Well, 1 p.m. Oh, but it's it's not that bad. It's not Saturday. No, but I don't all day. like teacher. I would like to sleep on Saturday or maybe go out and run. Okay. Do but you I still do, do you mm -hmm. still skate? Um, sometimes that, teacher. Sometimes. I miss that. Yes, I miss. Okay. That. All right. Good. And all. <laughs> okay. Good. No. <laughs> Mario. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Good Mario? Evening. Mario. And we have Hello. Julia. How was your day, Julia? Hello, I didn't listen. How was your day? Uh, my day was very hard because uh, in this week we are in physical inventory. And oh, a lot of work. I, yes, I arrived. Uh, 10 minutes ago. ago. Okay. Where do you work, Julia? I work in Esforzalba, Planta Santa Ana, in Fruit of the Loom. Oh, Fruit of the Loom. All right. Good. Um, I, I Do you know where Alas Doradas is? Yes. Okay. I, know. I, I work there. That's my first class at 7 a.m. Wow, teacher. Yeah. Why, teacher? Why what? Do you visit the place? The money. Um, yeah, I, I, I visit the place from Monday through Thursday at 7 a.m. And I teach administrative uh, personnel. Wow, okay. Mm. Yeah. Teacher, and, and the well, personnel well, of that well, company okay. don't speak English. They, uh, they they do, but they need to improve. Like us, or like yeah, like, like you guys. I mean, they communicate and everything, but they need to practice more. Mm, okay. Right, Gilberto. How are you, Gilberto? Can you hear me, Gilberto? I guess not. Mm. Karen, are you okay, Karen? Are you better? 
Hi, teacher. Oh, no, you're not. Okay. No, that's okay. Don't say anything, Karen. Okay, okay. Thank you. No, sir. Okay, don't, don't, don't force your, your voice. Okay, but ne <laughs> next week. <laughs> That's okay, don't say anything. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, let's begin. Um, do you remember the topics we discussed yesterday? Um, I don't remember. The present perfect. Uh -huh. Ah, yes, present, present perfect, perfect continuous. And present Good. perfect continuous. Okay, what's the main difference in, in terms of function? What's the main difference between those two? Anybody? Uh, um, I don't know how to explain it. Okay, somebody the else? Is perfect, the present perfect. Uh, the action is finished. But in the present perfect continuous, the action that is unfinished okay. is unfinished. It's continuous in the, in the future. Okay, I someone else? So. Okay, someone else wants to give an opinion? You need, you need to have that um, very clear because that's going to be um, something that you will see in the exam, in the evaluation. So you what guys, you guys- What evaluation, teacher? Okay, how about, <laughs> uh, so you need to have a very clear uh, concept of when you use the present perfect and when you use the present perfect continuous. Teacher. Okay, uh, somebody else wants to give an opinion. Teacher. Yes, teacher. The, where no when will we have the exam check the platform it's right there okay <laughs> somebody else wants to give an opinion about the present perfect okay. and the present perfect continues i i have some problems yet with that okay okay uh, where where exactly are Here you my use, julia uh, when the, I think the present perfect continuous is when the action continues in the present or the future. Right. But the present perfect, it, the concept is similar. Yes, it's similar, but it's not exactly the same. So, so listen. The difference. Okay, hold on. Let me let me see if I can show you this. Teacher. Okay, can you I, see the document? Uh, yes. Yeah. Do you see the document? Okay, listen to this. Present perfect. I have read the newspaper twice. Maybe if I don't have anything to do in three hours, maybe I read the newspaper again. So this action. So present perfect is unfinished. Okay. Present perfect. Now, now listen to this. Now, listen to this. When I said when I, I say have it. read the newspaper twice, maybe I'm not reading the paper when I'm speaking, but maybe 20 minutes from now, I'll get the newspaper again and continue reading. So the action is not finished. I'm finished. Okay. Now, with the present perfect continuous, it is clear, it is very clear that the action is still in progress. Look at the example that we have here. I have been reading the papers all morning. So imagine that you have 200 papers and you are reading paper number 84. That means that you will continue reading papers until you finish. So once again, present perfect, you can use it under two different circumstances. When you're speaking, maybe you are doing the action, maybe you're not. With the present perfect continuous, you are doing the action for sure. Okay. 
And obviously the structures are different. With the but present teacher, perfect, yes, tell, ask me. But both of them, uh, the, the meaning is unfinished. About, uh, uh, in, in, in order to the, to yes. the sentences that you are explaining. Exactly, us. exactly, exactly. The two, the, the two tenses are not finished. So what is um, the difference? Uh -huh. So what is the difference? That sometimes when you use the present perfect, the action that you mention, you're not doing it when you're talking, but you can do it again in the future. And that's the reason why the action is considered to be unfinished. Mm -hmm. So you're right, Maribel. Present perfect is not finished. Present perfect continuous is not finished. So but what is the difference? But sometimes in present perfect uh, uh, is finished sometimes. Yes, when you're speaking, but maybe the action can be repeated again in the future. Yeah. And, and that's the reason, and you're right. You say, well, but sometimes the present perfect, the action is finished. Yes, you're right. Maybe the action is finished, but you can repeat the action again in the future. And that's the reason why it's considered to be unfinished. Uh -huh. Um, anything else? For example, I guess. As perfect. For example, have you ever gone to Canada? Yes, I I went. Uh, yes, I have been in Canada. Although I I have gone to Canada. Right, but you're in El Salvador. I have gone right now. gone. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. <laughs> but right. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure if I if I I will go to Canada again. Okay, okay, let me use your example, Maribel. You said, have you ever been to Canada? And the person answers, yes, I have, three times. But when you're speaking, you are in El Salvador, right? But maybe in December, you go back to Canada. When you're speaking, you're not in Canada, but you can visit again next year. Mm -hmm. And that is the reason why it's considered to be unfinished. Uh -huh. Okay, I understand. Yes. And Thank once you. again, and if you analyze the structures with the present perfect, you use auxiliary have, and the verb is in the past participle. With the present perfect continues, you use have, but you also need a past participle, plus the main verb goes with the ing form. What about the past perfect? I have bought it already when you notify me. What happened first, the notification or the shopping? The shopping. The shopping, exactly. So you use the past perfect when you're talking about two events and you want to mention which one happen first. In this case, I had bought it already. And that is the past perfect. Um, any questions here? Now remember, this is only the, the theory. You guys have to do the practice. Any questions about this? No. No question. No question, teacher. Okay, so we go here. Okay. Hello, Teresa. Hello, good evening. How are you? A little, a little sick. Really? Yes, I got the, I think I got the flu. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. All right, just be careful. Yes, thank you. All right, um, what else did we see this week? Uh, the on, indirect speech? No. Uh, no, the, that, that, speech, that, that speech. week or no. Indirect speech? I think that was, was it this week or last week? I teacher, I'm sorry, I'm lost. Oh, <laughs> I, 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 I know. 
Okay, do don't you remember do you remember the class where we were practicing um with cognates? Who remembers the meaning of the word cognates? Yes, yes, I know. Ricardo, what's some a cognate, words, Ricardo? Some words that uh what do you mean? Some words that sound similar in both languages. Very good. Example, uh -huh. I, I, I wasn't I in his class. I remember uh, how can I pronounce? I'm sorry. Catholic. Uh -huh. Catholic. 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 Transparent, for example. Transparent. Okay, good, good. So, um, the reason why I chose, because when you visit the platform, there's going to be one section where the lady explains how to apply pronunciation and stress in certain words. Um, however, you need to be extra careful if the word is a cognate. Like Ricardo was saying, a cognate is a word that we have in two different languages. And we were saying categoría, category, católico, catholic, transparente, we say transparent. So many times because we have that word in Spanish, we think that the stress that we use in Spanish is going to be the same one in English, but that's not true. Especially if we have that word in, in, in Spanish. How do you say automobile in English? Automobile. 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 Yes. Mm. So you have a transparent, Catholic, automobile, interesting, vulnerable. Instruction, teacher. Huh? Instruction. Interesting. Yeah, interesting, instruction, mm. construction, comfortable. Construction, comfortable. Company. Comfortable. I think so. Now remember that when you pronounce words in Spanish, we pronounce every single letter. We pronounce every single letter. English is different. So sometimes we think that because we see one letter, we need to pronounce it. No, not true. So many of the letters that we have in English, when you're using them in a word, they're not pronounced. Let me, let me show you this. Lee? You see the paper? Um, yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Are, are, are these words uh, adult families? Atmosphere. They are. Yes, they are. Camera. Secretary in classify. Okay. Um, how do you say the first word in Spanish? Adulto. Adulto. Where is the stress? Adulto. 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 Okay. When you, okay. Adulto. Okay. Listen to this. When you pronounce this word in Spanish, where is the stress? And in Spanish, is at the adulto. end, adulto, at the end. Adul. Dul. So do you say adulto, adulto, Adul. or do you say adulto? Adulto. 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 Okay, so where Dul. is the stress? Dul. It's a, it's a grave. At the grave. It's a... Okay, so you say adulto. English is different. You say yeah. adult. 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 Now, be adult. careful. You can say adult. adult and you can say adults. You can pronounce adult. it too. If you want to use American pronunciation, you say adult. If you want to sound British, you say adult. Adult. Yes. So, so the, two, the two options are good. In this case in particular, you can say adult, you can say adult, but it's not like that every time. Usually you only have one pronunciation. How do you pronounce the second one? Atmosphere. 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 Okay. Atmosphere. Okay, how do you pronounce this word in Spanish? 
Atmosfera. Atmosfera. Okay. Atmosfera. Where, where, where is the stress? Mos o. Mos. Mos. Right. Oh. Mos. Exactly. Oh. Sin matter all. But in English, you say atmosphere. 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 So the atmosphere is pretty positive. Where is the stress? Atmosphere. Fear. At the end, I think so. Fear. Fear. Yeah, fear. 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 Atmosphere. Fear. Uh huh. What about number fear. three? Number camera. 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 Okay. Listen to this. That letter, that word, has only two syllables. Camera. So you don't camera. say camera. You say camera. 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 You ignore camera. letter E. You ignore uh, camera. it. Camera. 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 Two syllables. Camera. Two syllables. Camera. 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 You don't say camera. You say camera. 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 Do you camera. remember this one? Evening. 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 Same case. Evening. The second E Evening. is quiet. Evening. Evening. So evening, evening has two syllables too. Evening. So you don't say evening. You evening. say evening. 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 How many syllables? How many syllables? Only two. Only two. Do you see color blue? Yeah. Okay, so color blue will indicate that that letter is quiet. So you don't say evening. You will say evening. 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 What about this one here? Secretary. 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 Where, where, where is the stress? If secretary. 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 First. Secretary. Yes, it's in the first. It's first. in the first. And how do you pronounce the last one? Classify. 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 How many syllables? Three. Three. Three is correct. Where is the stress? Classify. Letter A. Yes, first one. Classify. 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 All right. So, um, when, when we're talking about pronunciation, be careful with the ones that are cognates. And remember, when we talk about cognates, we're talking about words that exist in Spanish and they also exist in English. But the pronunciation and the stress is going to be completely different. Any questions about pronunciation? Mm, no. No? Um, no. Any questions about the different topics we covered during the week? No. All clear? I think so. You think so? Okay. Yes. Good. I hope so. I had to study teacher in practice. I hope so too. All right. <laughs> So I sent you an email to your uh, to the WhatsApp. Did you receive it? A email. Yes. I mean, I not, 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 not an email. I sent you. A, I said an image. Oh, an, image. A, 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 ah, yes. I, 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 okay. I'm watching it. What is the image? What is the conversation about? About the alphabet. Exactly. How many letters do we have in the Spanish alphabet? 27. 27. Oh, that I don't remember because the Real Academy eliminated uh, two double L, CH and WL. I think so. I don't remember. Okay, so how many letters do we have? 27. 27. 27. Okay, what about in English? How many do we have? 23. 26. 26. 26. 26. 
six. Okay, okay. Let, let, let's put it like this. What's the difference between the Spanish alphabet and the English alphabet? In the English, we don't have any. Right? Uh -huh. So if we have so if we have 27 in Spanish, how many do we have in English? 26. 26. Right, right. Okay, so that's going to be your conversation. I'm going to make groups. Remember, when you're working in the platform, you're not speaking with anybody. It's just you and the computer. So this is the time you're supposed to be talking and make sure that everybody in the group participates. Everybody has to speak. Okay. Ready? Okay. Yes, okay. okay, so let's make four groups. Here we go. Let's... Ricardo. Hello. Hello, how are you, teacher? I'm okay, thanks. How are you, Rick? I'm a little tired, but I'm okay, too. <laughs> okay, good. All right, so you guys have the questions in the in the cell phone? So yes. start speaking. See you in a minute. Okay. okay. Excellent. Language, no. There are 20, 27, 26. This. There are 27. Our alphabet. Uh-huh. Yeah. 27. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because we have the letter N. Yes, A. And what happened with the letter C-H? It doesn't exist anymore. Okay. C H double L. I have a note. Yeah. Ah, so so I I I, I have in my in my in my mind uh, that where twenty eight. So uh, the recent L L and S S H A. C H. Oh, wow. C H, C H, <laughs> C -H. <laughs> yeah. So I didn't know. Well, now you do. <laughs> okay. All right. Number two. Read. Mar de noches. The letter yeah. letter Ñ. Ñ. Hmm? Yeah. So how do gringos pronounce Ñ? My God. I, don't I think know. that they, they pronounce it just like a double N. Really? Yeah, they say El Nino, La Nino, Nones, Munoz. Yeah, but in the past, that that sound was the one that means with that sign at the beginnings of the Spanish. Exactly, exactly. And they, they modified it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, see you in a minute. They uh, the okay. two, does your language have an alphabet? Yes, we have. Does your language have an Yes, we have an alphabet. And the letter three. What are the difference between the English alphabet and your language writing system? It's very difficult. <laughs> I think it's the N. <laughs> and between English alphabet and your language writing system. Uh, I see. We don't. We what, don't. What, what number are you doing right now? Number, uh, number three. Teacher. Number three. Oh, okay. So, what are the differences? Uh, it could be that in Spanish we don't use W for the words because. We have the w. the structure of the of the of the statement, I guess, because in the Spanish we we have saw your fish, first, 
verb and complement in the most in the most statement. Okay. It could be in, with the, in the English. Uh, the the fact we don't use W for the words. Because, uh, what do you mean? Because W we have in Spanish, but uh, I we have only uh, names with W, but a word with W, I think we we don't have whiskey. But that whiskey. Do you like whiskey? <laughs> no? With soda. No. <laughs> okay. I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> okay. Keep talking. Okay. Peter, okay. hello. Hi. Hi, teacher. Which one are you discussing now? And number four, I think so. Do you think so? Continue with number four. Uh, yeah, okay. What is the most frequently used used letter of the alphabet? Uh, I have no idea. Is the uh, letter A, I think. Letter A. I don't know. Peter. Uh huh. Are you there? I'm here. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm I'm having my uh, dinner. Okay, so the others can speak. Don't worry. Okay. Right. I don't listen um, anything. Alberto, Ronald, are you there? Maybe they are trying. Gilberto, are you there? Yes, Ronald? do you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I, uh, I have some problem with the connection. Okay, Ronald, are you there? Uh, Federico. What? Sorry. Okay, so your name is Federico, not Ronald. Yeah. Okay, so you need uh, you guys need to participate and discuss the questions. Yes. Okay, so go on. Hot days uh, talk. Uh, they talk. The pronunciation is British. I think British pronunciation is, in my case, is, is easy than, than the American pronunciation. Really? I think, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because American pronunciation, uh, uh, we, the, they, they pronounce the letter R, R, R. And they have many idioms, and no sé, the other one is the what the name? Uh -huh, and don't, don't, oh my God! I think is is uh, British la British uh, language is is like Spanish. Uh, there are many many words uh, very alike alike teacher parecidas. Sure. No. Yeah. Many words are alike. <laughs> uh -huh, many words are alike. Uh -huh. yeah. You mean pronunciation or the writing? No, the writing. So in my case, I, I think I have problems to learn more words, and I think, oh my God, it's is is a is is a like to in Spanish. So in my case, is because it is more it's more easy. It's easier. Uh -huh. It's easier. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Okay, what about the others, Julia and Martin? Well, I don't know a lot about the, the others' uh, pronunciation. 
and that I think is different in, in British, Australian, and Nigerian too. And I only study the American pronunciation, and then I don't know about the other pronunciation. Okay. Anybody else wants to give your opinion about different uh, accents like British, Australian, and all that? <clears throat> my case, I only hear the American English. Okay. Uh, the British English, I only hear in some programs in the television, television programs. But I, I have, I don't have the opportunity to come practice or talking with somebody can speak uh, British English. But American is the most. Ah, uh, I and I have. Uh, a couple times opportunity to practice the Indian English. Okay. Very difficult. Sure. Because when I work in Bangkok, Catalan, uh, our operative center are in Malaysia. Okay. So we need to talk with, with the Malaysian people, with the Malayan, I guess. Malaysian. Malaysian, Malaysian. <clears throat> so they have a uh, very difficult pronunciation because they speak very very fast right yes and they have a different accent too yeah yeah you know and, and that's one of the reasons because uh, uh in, in the past india was like the number one destiny to open call centers but, yeah but people in india they have a strong accent mm -hmm. so investors they began saying well we need to uh, have call centers, but in a different place where the accent is less. And that's one of the reasons why they came to El Salvador, because our pronunciation is like uh, neutral. It's neutral. Hey, what, what about the Nigerian pronunciation? Uh, it's strong. They have a strong accent. Okay. It's like people that speak English in Jamaica, Mm -hmm. they, yeah. they have a strong accent. People in Belize. How do they speak? Can you pronounce song? <laughs> no, no, honestly, I cannot. <laughs> but it's difficult to understand what they're saying. It's difficult. Uh -huh. yep. It's just like when you compare Spanish, you know, Mexicans, they speak different than Colombians. They speak different than Nicaraguans, Cubans. We use the same language, but with different accent. Mm -hmm. English is the same. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'll be back. Okay. Thank you. <coughs> Keep talking. So the, the mega words. <laughs> Two are necessary. Yes. Which one are you discussing now? The nine. Number the nine, nine says, what's the difference between consonants and vowels? I don't know exactly what is the difference. The both are necessary, teacher. Sure, sure. Uh, but exactly, exactly we, we we don't, we don't know what is the difference. Uh, okay, it's, it's, it's yeah, like just uh, at the beginning of the of the course, there was a time that we were discussing how people identify the number of syllables in a word, and um, mm -hmm. if you hear two vowels, that tells you that the word has two syllables. If you hear four vowels, that tells you that the mm -hmm. word has four syllables and so on. So if you want yeah. to create syllables, you need to have um, vowels. How many vowels do we have? Five. Five. Wow. We wow have for five vowels. Five. Uh -huh. But remember that every vowel has different sounds. Yes. Every round has okay. different sounds. Yes. All right. And what's the last question? What is the International Phonetic Alphabet? 
Now, what is phonetic? I think it's the... Um, the sound of the... of the... the syllable or, or vowels. Or, okay, when or, we or... Okay, now when we're talking about the international phonetic alphabet, we're talking about symbols that represent specific sounds. Like when you say car, letter C is represented with letter K. So any sound that has car, come, color, anything that has that particular sound is represented with letter K. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes. All right, so I think we need to return to the main session. Did you guys finish all the all the questions? Yes. All right. So let's wait for the others. They're coming back now. All right. Um, was everybody able to finish all the questions? Was there... Teacher, what's, what's the difference between consonants and vowels? Uh, the pronunciation, I think. Uh, well, it, it can be in, in terms of pronunciation, but also the function. Uh, let me ask you this again. Um, do you guys remember how to identify the number of syllables in a word? Anybody? Because the ball was... Well, it's, not, it's not easy in English. Okay, Marcelo, you were saying something? Because depends of the, the number of vowels in a, in, a, in a... In the word. In a sentence. In the word, in the word. The word you had the, the, the same syllable. Right. So if, if, if we talk about consonants and vowels, uh, how many vowels do we have in English? Ooh. Five. 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 five vowels. But remember that every vowel has different sounds. Every yes. vowel has different sounds. So sometimes you will say A, sometimes you will say A, sometimes you will say like, uh, like this one here. How do you pronounce that word? You see Which one? Chat? In the chat? Oh. Bay. 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 Chat ask. Let me see. Right here. Bay. Bay. Okay. Now, how do you pronounce this? Call. Call. Uh huh. Call. And what about Call. this one? Car. Car. Okay, so, I like that. So, so listen, so you say bay, call, car. So we have three different words with the same letter, with the same letter, but different sound. Yeah. Different sound. So as you can see, and, and there is no rule to say, okay, in this okay, sound A. Ah. Oh, there is no rule for that. It's just practice. Completely so, different than the Spanish. Right. In Spanish, yes. we only have one sound. A, E, E, O, U, and that's it. Mm -hmm. English is different. Right? Yeah. Like, how do you pronounce this word? Umbrella. 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 
What about the other one? University. 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 Okay. University. Okay, so when you university. say Okay, so when you university. say the word when you university. say the word university, what's the first sound? You. 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 Listen carefully. You. Listen, listen. You. University. You. Universe. You. Unicorn. You. Uniform. You. Umbrella. It's an you. E sound. It's an E sound. Yeah. So what yeah. I'm saying is this, going back to Maribel's question, what's the difference between consonants and vowels? Well, the number of vowels that you hear will indicate how many syllables the word has, right? So mm -hmm. when you pronounce a word and you hear three vowels, that tells you that the word has three syllables. If you mm -hmm. only hear mm -hmm. one vowel, that tells you that the word only has one syllable and so on mm -hmm. so in other words uh, you need vowels to make syllables mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and something very important you guys need to know that every vowel has different sounds yeah yeah and the only way you will differentiate when you need to say tall a Day, baby, it's only practice. Practice, mm -hmm. practice, and practice. Okay. All right. Um, any questions about the discussion we were having? Uh, yes, but, but uh, is you're talking about English, uh, American English? Even even in that country, there are several regions that they pronounce different. Exactly. At the north, at the, north, at the south, they pronounce different. Completely agree with you. Yes. Okay. A person from New York speaks different than someone from California. Someone from Texas has a different accent than a person from Miami and so on. So what uh, he's saying is true. So if people tell you, oh, you're from California, you're from New York, you're from Texas, because everybody has different accents, even in the same country. Yeah, like, like Salvador. We have the, we, the, the Salvadorian. English, Salvadorian English. Right. El Bolao. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, in El Salvador, we, we modify English. Yeah. And instead of saying gracias, people say thank you. <laughs> thank you. Hey, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Teacher, el bistec, bistec, algo así. En, yeah. De carne, bistec. And the people say bistec. Yeah. <laughs> people, say said, people said, ya lo right. guachaste. Right. Ya lo guachaste. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's true. What? Yeah. Water, we say cora. Exactly. Cora, cora, cora. Yeah. Yeah, so cora. people say cora. It's water. One corita. Cora. One cora. Right. Yeah, Salvadorians, we modify many things, including the language. Take it easy, teacher. <laughs> right. Or, or the word guacho. Hey, the chivo to guacho. You know, uh, talking about the uh, or, or guacha. Right. Like, that was what Ricardo was saying. Like, guacha. Guacha uh -huh. esto. Right. Like, guacha. You look for the word guacha in the dictionary, you'll never find it. <laughs> Anyways. All right. Uh, any questions about the discussion we were having? The number 10, teacher. Number 10. Let me check number 10. Number 10. Uh, what is the international? Okay. Phonetic alphabet. Now, I was given, I don't, I don't know who I was talking with. Um, when you say the word car, k -k letter C is represented with letter K. So that is phonetic. That is phonetic. Yes, yes. Now, when you see things like uh, 
Okay, let, let me, how do you pronounce that word? They. 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 And the sound is represented like this. The phonetic. Right. So when we talk about phonetics, we're talking about the symbols that we have for mm -hmm. every specific sound. Mm -hmm. okay. so you can phonetic. find that in a dictionary. Yeah. When you're talking about dictionaries, that usually um, there is a section for the... Yes. For the phonetic alphabet. Phonetic alphabet. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And, and when you yeah. analyze it, it's like you're reading Greek or Latin. You know, it, it sounds, uh, looks very strange. Okay. Uh, any other questions related with the discussion? No. Mm. Teacher, teacher, I have a question. Yes, there, there was a question that it was asking for the different of the accent with Australian and Nigerian. Uh, Nigerian, yeah. the people in that country speaking English. Okay, have you, have you heard the expression? Broken English. Never. Broken English. Broken English. Never. No, teacher. No, I don't. No, okay. I haven't. Oh, okay. Let's say you go to Jamaica. What language do they speak in Jamaica? English. 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 They speak English. But when you pay attention to them, they use broken English. That means that they have their own version of the language. Yeah. Mm. So you go to Belize, you go to oh the Virgin God. Islands, you know, they speak English, but they have their particular form of pronouncing things. So Even in is, Trinidad and Tobago. Right, yeah. Trinidad and Tobago, you know, they, they, they speak pretty different. I really hate uh, Belize as English as well. What is it? I really hate a Belize English accent. Uh -huh. You have never different. heard the English from Trinidad and Tobago. That's yeah. very difficult. It is. It is. You know, like, uh, you know, Iceland? You know the word, the, 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 the country Iceland? Iceland. 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 Yep. Iceland. Islandia. Yes, Iceland. Iceland. Man. Islandia. Oh. Right. If you, uh, they speak the language, they speak English. If you yes. pay attention to the way they talk, you'll be like, my goodness, what language is that? And it's English. My God. It's English. So uh, when you talk with someone from the States, you know, it, it's not that difficult to understand what they're saying. Someone from England. But there are countries like uh, Belize, Jamaica, the Virgin Islands, Trinidad and Tobago, it, it, they have a very strong accent. So it's the same thing if you compare someone with from Mexico, Colombia, Cuba, Argentina. Argentina. We, we use the same language, but we have different accents. And we yes. use different words. So okay, what, what the Malam people the speak explain. So English is the same, you know. It's the same language, but people use different accents. Yes. All right. Uh, any questions uh, about the discussion? No, teacher. No question. Anybody else? Anybody else? Okay, let me show you this document. Okay, uh, there was a topic that we covered uh, during the week, and it was when you use ing in a verb, and when do you use the uh, imperative form. So, for example, uh, a favor you did to a friend. Can you think about a favor you did to a friend? When you ask for money. <laughs> okay, ask 
for money. What yes. what form are you using? Um, um I don't remember how to use it. Can you lend me? Can you lend me some money? Okay. What what is the form of the verb in that case? Like a phrase as verb teacher? No. Uh, can you lend me money? What is the form of the verb? I, I the base form. The base form. Base form. Okay. Look, look at this one here. What are you proud of? You say, well, I am proud of going to the gym every day. I am uh, proud of eating healthy. I am proud of saving money. So when you say proud of, you need to use the ing form. Now, the gerum, the gerum. Right. So after that is a preposition. Then do we have to use a uh, gerum? Okay, let me give you an example. I am proud of working with this group. Okay, write, write one sentence, Houston, I am proud of. I'm proud of working, working with you. Good. I thank you, teacher. Okay, everybody, write a sentence. Okay. You can say, I am proud of having a family like the one that I have. Okay. I don't know. It's I'm bad. Okay. I'm proud of enjoying my job. Very good. I'm proud of living in El Salvador. Very good. What else? I brought another friend. So only three sentences from the whole group? Yes, uh, Martin. Were we going to write the, the sentence? Uh, in the chat. In the chat. In the chat. But in the chat with English, English corporativo, or I... No, here in the platform. In this chat. Here in, uh, so in the good, chat. In the platform. Good question. I'm sorry. I didn't clarify. Uh, yeah, it can be two different chats. I'm sorry, it's my first time in, in this, this... No, no, no. I, I, no, it's my fault because I didn't explain. When I say the chat, I mean the chat that we have in the session, not WhatsApp. No WhatsApp. Okay. Nah. But, oh, I see it. I, I find it. I find it. Right. Yeah. So I'm proud of living in El Salvador. I'm proud of having two children. I'm proud of enjoying my job. I'm proud of having a good job and so on. Teacher, my phrase is okay. Uh, let me see. I'm taking advantage of something like that. Sure, sure. I mean, it, it's not related with being proud of, but your sentence is good. Yes. Okay. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. Time to go. Yes. Um, I will send the, the image. Uh, which one? This one. Uh, okay. Perfect. This one. <laughs> Perfect. I'll send it to you guys when I finish before I go home. So thank, thank you, you very much. Um, have a good weekend and enjoy. Thank you. This is the, the last thank class, you. teacher. For this week, <laughs> yes. The week. Ah, okay. Okay. Have a nice have week. A nice week.